Okay, so yeah. Whether it be any type, you know, type of fantasy, whether it's uh, you no know, tangible uh, or not, or made tangible through fantasies, or however we see it, you know, um, there's a lot of rabbit holes and there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of things to think about. So I've had a, a little bit of time to kind of ponder these things, and I want to crack a lot of this stuff and figure it out. Like, is it real? Is it true? Or how far is it true? Or how much more is it true? Or, or whatever. If I saw a past life that now uh, answers the questions of deja vu that I've had my whole life, then I have undoubtedly did the exact same things as I did in my other life as Grimm again, which is extremely, like, the only reason I found that out is because I did the biggest riff of my own DMT. And you got to hollow out that, that tunnel in your neck. If you smile and turn your head, it comes up and it's like a glue uh, saliva pit that it comes up and you spit it all out and you you know you do it for like several hours eventually turning your head and keeping your teeth and keeping your tongue in the roof of your mouth will secrete a dmt that has been uh, obstructed in the throat and it comes out uh, from the spine up a tube from the throat next to the windpipe and it comes up and out and it's it, like a squirt into your back of your neck which goes up into your brain and that space is hollowed out also because the pineal gland is right there and it gets hot which makes the whole roof raise up off of the pineal gland so it's like strength weight lifting and then dmt uh and, and you know indulgence or whatever and the more you do the more disorienting it is it's like man i'm finished it's just like this matrix stuff that's what's so weird is that when i did it enough i was able to see a past life where i was still doing it Almost like as if uh, I was able to come out of that, through that, but to see more of what I thought was true through the, through DMT, which is incredible. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, smoking DMT that you get out there from where your buddies or whatever, none of that shit is like this. This shit, it kicks you in your ass. It makes your head go, whoa, whoa. Like you're on a roller coaster that shot straight down and then shot up again. Like it's real, like it's extreme. But uh, it is what you feel like it is, which is basically just teleportation, like in real life, to uh, transcend across dimensional planes. And very well so to reveal uh, what now I can, you know, uh, come to you guys. And that's what I'm obsessed over is, uh, is the fact that I can come back to y'all and I appreciate people who make contributions and donations because uh, they're furthering that study, kind of like a, a scientist that uh, gets, uh, you, know, be, uh, you know, grants or whatever. You know, like the scientist already has all kinds of shit in the lab, but then suddenly the government or whoever shows up and says, hey, I would like to give a grant into that too. And then these studies uh, expand into uh, other regions. But uh, this is this is something, man. This is extremely unbelievable and inconceivable, but very well possible. And uh, if you see the first Matrix movie, you will see that the creator is in that one too, as the Oracle, in a different dimensional space, transcending between dimensions. Uh, it it shows you in there that she's uh, she's in that too, in the Matrix. So it's like, are we in the Matrix? Is that possible that uh, maybe all the hype on uh, that I may have perceived on the UFOs or the motherships would have been perhaps maybe a waste of time in a simulated third dimensional reality? That maybe it was uh, necessary for maybe maybe for me to go further in frustration to perhaps find out that there was more to it than just uh, a government mandate. Perhaps maybe I needed to do those. To, to you know to use everything i thought within my expertise to pray maybe just maybe i could be reaching here i don't know for sure i ain't gonna put uh you know and say that this is exactly what it is because uh i have to find out for sure but perhaps for me to go further and find out since uh it's not easy for them to just tell me something and for me to just believe it uh i have to sometimes dig in more uh sometimes uh them telling me might ruin something for me finding out and then knowing something. I don't know. So I'm still going. I'm still trying to figure things out. And uh, it seems to me 
that things are starting to add up to this being possible. And DMT is the thing that's making me realize it more. They are too out there, but uh, in a way, you know, uh, hinting and saying, you know, things here and there. But uh, that DMT, I'm telling you, it is, uh, it is undoubtedly revealing the brain and what the brain can perceive in a psychic ability. Uh, to do this, also, you expand your face using turpentine tissues. It makes your ears pop out, which opens up the cavity of the skull and the head and the face on the fault lines and everything. And then uh, DMT can be released into the brain and the head and, and uh, your ear chakras that pop out and your eyes and everything. So it uh, your, your head, so to speak, has been shrunk down into place. Like your pineal gland, atrophied into smallness within a cavity in the center of your brain that's like a size of a fist that has a uh, liquid in it that we see on the uh, brain charts. We see that big hollow space in the center, and we're like, hmm, that's the third eye in there somewhere. Well, it's supposed to be as big as that hollow space. That's from what uh, I've gathered a gang of rapport from just, um, just being able to use more of my own brain. I realized, yes, I did hear five years ago. A woman told me about an autopsy that uh, resulted in uh, a man that meditated most of his life who was probably uh, not able to go to the next level because even though they get this, they're still doing stuff like uh, not staring into the sun to nurture this uh, massive uh, potential. Uh, they, they stay in dojos inside. Uh, they uh, absorb chi that is filtered between you and the sun that is undoubtedly hit with chemicals uh, S wave that takes up the, the intensity of the eight that comes straight out of the sun into your head. If you were to sun gaze and get this, uh, a lot of these people tell you to sun gaze for 30 minutes and then you're done, which is nonsense. Uh, you see where going further takes you. Like, I mean, we're staring at the possibilities of cracking the matrix open. We literally tore the lid off the whole government to see that is probably more than just the government because contracts is the embodiment of how they completely fucking breathe. So there's got to be more to it then. And now uh, this is potentially revealed that we might actually be in a matrix, whereas the obligations might actually be uh, outside of the idea of a government that is now seeming more farcical in the actual existence of a government. If it even existed at all at this point and to uh, obligations that exist outside of that that suggest that once you wake up in these pods that they release you just like the original Matrix movie which is taking contracts to a whole nother level it's fucked up I've been thinking about all this shit I'm just like fuck my brain is gonna fucking explode so it's uh, it's relative to uh, see how these contracts or obligations expand outside of People seeing the opportunity to create simulations within simulations within simulations and how obligations expand outside of each layer on its way out like a damn onion, paralleling itself into the ultimate fucking goddamn relative paradox of all fucking goddamn time. And this is shit is getting so concise, but so mind blowing. It's making me fucking lose it. Uh, it is uh, indeed creating uh access to what they call the genius sphere, which I found out about 12 years ago with a guy that broke down. He says, if you have anxiety attacks, you're only expanding because your body is doing more than it can handle. And it's saying, hey, after this, you're going to be on another level. That's why you're having panic attacks. And I heard that 12 years ago, but it's all accessible. Use both sides of your brain. It's like the librarian or whatever your pineal gland is, so to speak, in relative terms of her or, you know, Tears of Fears, Head of a Hills video when you're in the library. And she was like the center of all the the books. Well, just so to speak, the librarian can access all the files or your pineal gland can access all the files. And then it gives you a long rapport from the time like you are a little baby all the way to now that is easily accessible just like it each happened yesterday. Your brain is extremely fast. It's like, fuck, how the hell did I get this fast? I have never, ever been able to think this fast or this concise. And, uh, when you open your head up and your ears and everything else and you let the light directly in your face unfiltered, it will expand your sense of awareness, uh, intuition into uh, 
potentially beyond anything that I've even done, you know, or or even yourself. I mean, there's people out there that are super intelligent. So uh, uh, I'm just saying it it goes and, and you see people outside of this dome that are light years uh, beyond your intelligence. And uh, and there's so much to learn. And uh, and I just I get so confused sometimes and I, I just don't know. Uh, sometimes I guess I wonder if it's so over my head that uh, they can't explain it. And it's like, you got to see the matrix for yourself, like that Morpheus scene. Or, oh, I could tell you what the matrix is, but man, that's a waste of time. And you're going to have to hit that DMT real quick in your spine and propel yourself through these walls. It's just like, man, it's it's getting deep, man. It's getting real deep. So uh, I appreciate it, everyone. Uh, thank you for the contributions. Also, the cars are cool. Cool corn <laughs> for making a contribution to the channel and uh, onward we go man we're gonna crack this shit wide open because we blew the government's lid already so now we finna blow the next layer lid and we're gonna find out what's behind it so thank you for watching welcome to grim nasty tv onward we go through these tunnels these rabbit holes through the fire through everything the smog the smoke and uh hey when we get awake we stay awake